with the average link to the I expression, you can connect 2D properties, so properties that have two components, so two numbers, like for example positions of 2D layers, to two other such uh, properties. In this case, we want to connect the position of li this layer to both the position of this point here and this point. And these two points are animated, yeah, or at least the first one here is keyframed, and this one should now follow this one and this one. Therefore, we select the position of the first point and link it here, and then select the position of the second point and link it here. And then we apply the, pos uh, the property, the eye expression, to the position of the Mamo World logo. What now happens is that it is exactly in the middle of those two. Yeah? And when one of them moves, it automatically updates. We can also move here the second point, and you can see the Mamo World logo always stays exactly in the middle. If you do not want it to be exactly in the middle, you can use this balance parameter here. So I select the position here and apply it and enable auto apply such that it automatically updates when I change the slider here. And you can see that with this slider, I can basically shift uh, the layer on the line connecting this point and this point. Uh, you can also animate this over time if you like. So you can, for example, uh, select just this layer here and no property at all and then click on this link thing and then it asks you whether a new controller should be created to control or animate this balance here over time. And if I say yes, we have here now a new effect balance of this average link and let's say we animate this balance from zero at this point to let's say 100 at this point. Uh, maybe let's really type in here 100 and then you can see that the Mamo World logo travels from the first point to the second point and during this traveling it always stays on the line connecting this one and this one. Of course you can have also now several copies of those be placed on the line or do other stuff so whenever you have things that should be placed in between other elements the average link is a perfect choice for this. Also this is great to average track points. You can imagine for example that this could be a track point and this could be a track point and, you and both of them are not 100% accurate. Now then if you go in the middle of the two um, you get more accurate than you have been before. Also a nice application of the average link to the I expression.